So the initiative started four years ago. Um, Mary Lou came up with the idea because so many people, you know, we spend so much time at work and it's an area where you can get mental health struggles. So we wanted to get the business community involved in raising awareness about mental well-being. Now 23 entities have been represented here um, from a wide ranging number of sectors. Tell us about those sectors were represented and which sectors you're hoping might uh, get involved in the next edition. So this year we've had you know small companies um, all the way through to bigger companies and you know you've got your gaming companies, you've got your lawyers, you've got your um, car dealerships, you've got um, public sector so you've got the care agency um, the customs so lots of different um, sectors are already um, taking part but I think there's still more I would like to see more smaller companies I'd like to for them to not feel that it's too much for them to get involved um, I think that they've got something to offer and companies tonight being recognised for their efforts for proactively improving the workplace or well-being in the workplace. Tell us about some of those initiatives that are being recognised tonight. So some of those initiatives are the ones like um, they've been giving um, mental um, health talks, you know, raising awareness about menopause, women's issues, um, debriefs. There has been a, a lot of... Um, company-led initiatives where they've sort of given staff flexi time, encouraged them back into after the COVID working, given them that opportunity of flexi working. What does that look like? And so there's been a whole range of different things and also the well-being champions in the different organisations. A number of companies are uh, coming back year after year, aren't they? Yes, so we've got, as you can see, there is some from the beginning. We had about five or six that were started four years ago and each year they improve, you know, like Bastardoni have, you know, got this learning platform for their staff, which is not just about learning job spec, but personal development. So they're pushing themselves. So this is one of the areas that we are particularly keen about, you know, sort of monitoring and enabling um, these companies to develop that further. So it's not a tick box exercise. This is, we're actually looking at all the applications and seeing all the different things that they're coming up with. Brilliant, it is a danger that uh, exercises like these become a tick box exercise for, for many companies. So what's the support that you're offering these companies throughout the year? So we get them to do the, you know, our podcast, they, we get them, we ask them questions, we get them, you know, follow up with them as to what they're doing and, you know, particular initiatives that we think are memorable, we will follow up with that and more so this year that we're looking, you know, doing the wellbeing um, leader training. So that's a, a new initiative for us that we're encouraging them all to train their staff to be wellbeing champions um, and offering them you know talks you know on specific mental well-being um, issues so we can actually go into their organizations and deliver that so organizations employers are being proactive about improving the, the well-being in the workplace what are employees telling you after these initiatives uh, have been established so the the feedback is really good so that's one of the areas that you know like a 360 so not only do you ask the companies but you ask the employees how are they you know how is it working what is it they're looking for what do they actually um, what do they get out of it and the feedback is good and that's one area that we will be developing further this year